Hallelujah. 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 I tell you, the music just makes you want to praise him. Anybody feel like just praising the Lord this morning? I am so excited about being here on the line with you. I'm excited because we have a woman of God who is with us this morning, one of our very own that I know the Lord has spoken to. And uh, I am anticipating what the Lord has to say. I am so grateful for the men and women of Mountains Hope Community Worship Center. I'm so grateful for those that have an anointing. They, you know, it's, we've been so blessed with those with a double anointing, a double portion. And they, they're anointed for ministry and they're anointed for business. And so I'm so grateful to have these with us this morning. I tell you, the Lord is good. I woke up with the praise in my spirit. Anybody else? Anybody else just wants to praise? Lord, I just want to praise him. Hallelujah. I see you, Elder Sam. We're going to give God glory today. Uh, Elder Sam is going to come with our uh, prayer and our worship, after which you're going to hear from a mighty woman of God, Elder Tanya Smith. She has the word of the Lord this morning. So I want you to prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise, and then prepare yourself to receive and to hear what thus saith the Lord. I just want you to be blessed today. I want you to receive a rhema word from God and let's rejoice in the Lord always. As Paul says, and again, I say rejoice. Amen. God bless you all. Let's receive Elder Sam, after which the next voice you will hear 
will be that of Elder Tanya Smith. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Apostle. Good morning, Mountains Hope family and all those that are watching this morning. God is a great God and greatly to be praised this morning. That song that was playing, that song I believe it was playing was called Bless. How many blessed people do we have out there in uh, cyberspace that are watching online? Amen. Know that you are yet blessed of God on today. Amen. Psalm 66 verses 1 through 9 says, make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praise glorious. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name, Selah. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the flood on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth by his power forever. His eyes behold the nations. Let not the rebellious exalt themselves. Selah. Oh, bless our God, ye people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life and suffereth not our feet to be moved. Hallelujah. Reading uh, from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 8, it says, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior, who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Whereunto I am ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not, a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath, and doubting. Hallelujah. So God, we thank you this morning. Hallelujah for being our God on this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you that we lift up our hands without wrath and doubt, blessing our God on this morning. Hallelujah. Oh, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Hallelujah. And God, it is in our endeavor to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace, covering all of our services online and on the phone lines and what Whatever methods we are uh, connecting in the spirit on this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you that your Holy Spirit rules and reigns throughout this service. Oh God, have your way in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray that there be no interference, no hindrance to the services. Oh God, we thank you. Oh God, for we come to worship and to bow down and to kneel before the Lord, our maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, in advance that no weapon formed against us shall prosper and every tongue that rises against us shall utterly be cast down in the name of Jesus. We thank you in, the, in this morning, God, that there be no distractions, oh God, that we will be focused on you. We will look to you, Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith on this morning. Hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, and we come with an expectancy of you releasing your power, oh God releasing your power to heal, release your power to deliver, God, release your power to save and set free those that may be bound in the name of Jesus, that they'll never be bound again, that they'll never thirst again once they drink of this water, God, in the name of Jesus, as they worship you in spirit and in truth, God, hallelujah. We thank you, oh God, for covering the spoken and unspoken prayer requests on this morning, God. We 
thank and praise you in advance for meeting all needs, oh God. For you said the prayers of the righteous avail it much, oh God. Hallelujah. So we thank you in advance, God, and we praise you in advance for the much on this morning. Hallelujah. That you're going to do even in this hour, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We thank you, God, for continuing to bless and refresh our apostle, Elder Troy, and family as they have prayed and labored for those and for others and interceded for others, God, that you will refresh them, God. You said that you would refresh the souls of those that refresh others, God. So we thank you for your winds of refreshing blowing in their direction in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that it may be all well with them on this morning. Hallelujah. So now, God, we do enter into your gates with thanksgiving. We enter into your courts with praise. We're thankful unto you and we do bless your name. Hallelujah. 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 I bless the Lord on this morning. Hallelujah. For he is a mighty God. He is our strong tower on this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. We don't want to lose any power. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. I just want to encourage you this morning to call on the name of Jesus, for there's power in the name of Jesus. How many know demons flee at the mention of the name of Jesus? How many know we are fortified by the name of Jesus? The Bible says the name of Jesus is a strong tower and the righteous run into it, and they are saved. Hallelujah. So we bless him. We praise and magnify him on this morning. Hallelujah. Call the name of Jesus. He is our healer. Call the name of Jesus. He is our provider. Call the name of Jesus. He is our protector. Call the name of Jesus. He is our deliverer. Hallelujah. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 oh. Jesus, hallelujah, he is our healer, oh, call the name of Jesus, he is our provider, just call the name of Jesus, he is our protector, oh, call the name of Jesus, Yes, he is. He is our deliverer. We say, oh, 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 stronger than our Savior. There's no name that is greater, that is stronger than our Savior. There's no name that is greater, that is stronger than our Savior. There's no name that is greater, that is stronger than our Savior. Oh, 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 o
now. Oh, 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 out of your belly now. Oh, 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 there's no name that is greater, that is stronger than our Savior. There's no name, Jesus, that's greater, that is stronger than our Savior. There's no name that is greater, that is stronger than our Savior. There's no name that is greater, that is stronger than our Savior. We call him Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, his name is Jesus. Yes, our Jesus. Jesus, we call him Jesus, 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 oh, 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 Jesus, 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 call the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, he is our healer, call the name of Jesus. He is our provider. Yes, Lord, I call the name of Jesus. He is our protector. Oh, yes, call the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, he is our deliverer. Oh, 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 oh. in this morning something happens something happens when we call you call the name jesus something happens something happens when we call your name jesus something happens something happens when we call you call the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah you know, I'm reminded back in the olden times when the saints of old, they used to start the church service and they would come in and they would say, there is a name I love to hear. I love to see its praise. It sounds like music in my ear. The sweetest name I know. Oh, how I love Jesus. We're singing, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. One more time, oh, how I love Jesus. We're singing, oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you have not called the name Jesus, I encourage Hallelujah. you, call his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will shift your very atmosphere. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory oh, to yes, God. God. Hallelujah. We call on the name of Jesus on this morning. Glory to God. And I yes, love God. the part of that song where, Elder Sam, where the song says, there's no name, glory to God, that is greater or stronger, hallelujah, woo, than our Savior, hallelujah, can you say that this morning, there is no name that is greater, woo, or is stronger than our Savior, Lord Jesus, hallelujah, let's give God a hand on this morning, 
Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. We thank Elder Sam for that mighty prayer and the worship on this morning. Praise God. We thank our Apostle Chess. Glory to God on this morning. Hallelujah. I count it a privilege to be able to come before you and give unto you what God has given unto me. Glory to God, because I also on this morning had a praise down in my soul. Glory to God. Yes, I know that there is a lot of chaos going on outside of 5628 Bombway. Glory to God. But for me and my house, hey, hi, yo, no, 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 I see. We will serve the Lord. And the praises were going on. Glory to God. So I feel God's presence on this morning. Glory to God. Today, I want to bring to you what God was sharing with me. I said, Lord, what do you want your people to hear on this morning? What would you have me to say to them that is your words that can encourage them and that can uplift them? Glory to God. Through all these challenging times, what would you have me to say? And so, I mean, when I was studying on a couple of weeks ago and on last week, God had took me to this, this scripture, and I think it's in the comments, but I'm going to give it to you also. We're going to go to Genesis, Genesis 17 and 7 and Jeremiah 32, 28, excuse me, 38 through 40. So that's Genesis 17 and 7, Jeremiah 32. 28 and 40. And if I don't get to it, but reference it only, it's 1 Chronicles 17, 23 through 27. And today we're going to talk about a God covenant. A God covenant. We know that a covenant is a binding agreement. It is something that is between one person and another. And in the scriptures, it talks about everlasting covenants. And everlasting, we know that that's just, there is no end to that. It's going to go on and on and on. Like the commercial, the Ever Ready Battery, it goes on and he goes on and on. That is the covenant that we are talking about, the God covenant. So in Genesis 7, it, and seven, 17 and 7, excuse me, it reads, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their, and their generations for an everlasting covenant. This is God talking to Abraham. I want to repeat this. He says, and I will establish my covenant between me and thee, so him and Abraham, and thy seed after thee, and their generations for an everlasting covenant, to be a God unto thee. I will be a God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. It's very important. Jeremiah 32, 38 and 40 says, they shall be my people, and I will be their God. He says, then I will give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and their children after them. We're talking about a God covenant. 40 says, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them. It will be unbinding. It will be forever. It will be with them that I will not turn away from them. Look, listen now, listen. I will not turn away from doing them good. Woo, glory to God. But I will put my fear in their hearts so that they will not depart from me. We're talking about a God covenant on this morning. Glory to God. God said the, the generations that are to come. So even before you were thought of from your mom and your dad, however you got here, whatever, you, there was a covenant that was spoken over your lives. And that covenant is everlasting. Why? Because it's a God covenant. 
is not the type that happens between um, an individuals, between people, glory to God. In my business, I have to have these agreements with people talking about what I'm going to do and how long the, the term of the agreement is going to last. And that agreement is binding for a specific period of time. And if they choose to continue with my services, then the agreement will automatically renew for another specific period of time. Stay with me now. That is the type of covenant normally between people. That is the agreement. That's what they call an agreement. And those agreements can be drawn up by lawyers. They can be drawn up by business owners. You can have a verbal agreement with someone. I'm going to do this for you. And in return, I expect A, B, C, D, and E. What happens is in those type of agreements, there is an ending. Yeah, we can put a clause that says it's an automatic renewal, but eventually there's going to be an ending. When we talk about a God covenant, we are talking about a promise that was made and spoken over our lives many generations ago. It still holds true for us today. So in the midst of the chaos that's going on in the country, in the midst of the spirit of air that is in the airways that's going on, there is still a covenant that God gave to us, I wanna make sure I'm looking in the camera, that God gave to us, spoken to us, that is not breakable. He will not break the covenant that he has given to us. We're talking about a God covenant. And so in, um, when we talk about that, one of the things that really struck me, and I want to read this part, is, and this is in my notes, this is not uh, scripture, this is in my notes, is where it says in, in Genesis 17 and 7, God, when he gave that covenant, he was giving himself to Abraham and his descendants. He also was giving us grace, pardon, promises, protection, guidance, goodness, help, and blessings. So way back when God was talking to Abraham and said, look, Abraham, you don't have to worry about your enemies. You don't have to worry about lack. You don't have to worry because I am going to be your God and I am going to give myself to you. And not only am I giving myself to you and my blessings and my protection, but I'm also giving it to your seed and the generations to come. We get just on that alone. We can get happy, glory to God, because we were not left out of the covenant. God didn't just stop at Abraham and his seed. The covenant could have stopped there, but he said, and the generations to come, glory to God. That makes me happy because it lets me know that in the midst of any trial, in the midst of enemies throwing their darts and all the lieutenant imps and the generals, in the midst of all of that, I can stand on a covenant with God. I have a God covenant. And a God covenant cannot be broken. A God covenant is everlasting. A God covenant is going to protect me through all things. A God covenant made promises to me that even though they may not have manifested yet, I know that they're going to come. We're talking about a God covenant today. God didn't just make this covenant for me. God made this covenant with you. Glory to God. Generations ago, down in your third generation, your 15th generation, 100th generation, when God made that covenant with Abraham, God also made that covenant with you. Give God some praise and say God covenant. Just, just put down in the comments today, God covenant. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God God covenant, glory to God. So what I, what I begin to think about when I begin to think about this and know that, you know, there's no way that, 
this covenant with God is breakable. God didn't create a loophole. Glory to God. God's word said just what it said. Now, as kids, we always played with toys, you know, and we would be with our friends and everything. And sometimes uh, we would say, oh, you can have this toy. We would give it away. I know I'll use me and my sister, me and my sister and um, I, my little cousin, we would always uh, play with our little dolls and stuff. So one day I remember, I remember this and if she's watching, she'll probably kill me for saying this, but I, I, I got, I need, it's a point I need to make. So in playing with the toy, it was a, a doll that she wanted, but e Erica pulled the doll first. So Sandra began to say things um, extra special about the one she had. So, because she really wanted that other one, okay? This is what some people do with a covenant they make with you. They will allow you to pick and choose, but you got to pick and choose what they want you to pick and choose, or they're going to break the covenant with you. And so she began to say the different thing. Well, I didn't want that doll anyway, and it wasn't this, and it was, this one is really pretty, and this one has better hair. Well, by the time she got finished, glory to God, then Erica changed her mind and said, oh, I changed my mind. I want that one. And then Sandra was happy because she got the one she wanted. But in the beginning of the agreement, she allowed Erica to pick what she wanted. People will make a, a, a clause for you to get what they want when they realize that your blessing is not dependent on what they did for you, what covenant they entered in with you. We are the Christians are the type of people we can make the best out of any situation. We can make the best out of any situation. Why? Because we are in a God covenant. So when, when someone enters into something with us, whether it's verbally or written, and in the middle of that, they try to try to change it in a way so it doesn't become a blessing to us. We know how to be like, you know what? It wasn't meant for me anyway. Go ahead. We're going to move on. That's how we do as Christians. That's how we do as people. Glory to God. But as children, when we were growing up, and I don't know if you guys did this, but as children, this happened. You did something and you change your mind and you take it back. That was always called an Indian giver. I thank God today that we don't serve an Indian giver. I thank God today that when the covenant was made with us, God didn't say, oh, I changed my mind. I'm only going to have this covenant between Abraham and his people. I don't worry. I'm not going to worry about the generations, just him and his, his the linear offspring. And that's it. I will not worry about the generations to come. We'll let them deal with that. But nope. That's not the kind of God he is. The kind of God he is, is he said, I want to care about all the people. So when I enter into this covenant, I want to cover everybody with this covenant. So in the covenant, that's what we have to stand on today. Through all the trials, through all the tribulations, through all the sickness that we go through, we can stand on God's covenant. Why? Because God is not an India giver. God said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. God said, I will be with you even until the ends of the earth. God said that if you lose houses or names or land for my sake, ye shall receive a manifold blessing in this present world and in the world to come. God said that if I close the lips of the field. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm going to take care of you. God said, the, the word said that a, a cattle on a thousand hills belongs to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, I give unto you power to tread over serpents, over scorpions, over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. A God coveted. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. We have entered into a God covenant. Hallelujah. We can withstand the trials and the darts of, this, of Satan because we are in a God covenant. 
Hallelujah. Yes, it may seem tight. Yes, it seems like you can't stretch your finances. Yes, it may look like that the doctors is giving up, but you are in a God covenant. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. God's covenant is not temporary. It's permanent. God's covenant is not to be broken. It's forever. Glory to God. A God covenant. So when you get that report, glory to God, we know that we are in a God covenant. So we believe God when he says that I'm a healer. We believe God when he says that you're more than a conqueror. We believe God when he says that he will put his perfect peace upon you whose mind is stayed on him. Why? Because we are in a God covenant. Hallelujah, glory to God. Say God covenant. Put, put God covenant down in the comments today. Hallelujah, because you're walking in God's covenant. Oh my God, my God, my God. God will protect you. He will provide for you. He will sustain you, glory to God. When it looks like that you don't know what's going to happen, there'll be some money dropping to your account. There'll be a check that's sitting in your mailbox. Don't tell me what God won't do. Hallelujah. The song said that he's greater. There's no greater than our Savior, glory to God. The covenant that he entered in with us, he's not an Indian giver, so he has to perform on the promise, glory to God. He said he's a God that he should not lie, neither the son of man that he should repent if he says it. Woo, glory to God. Go back and, and get those prophecies that haven't manifested yet. Hallelujah, go back and listen to the words, glory to God, and tell yourself I'm in a God covenant, hallelujah, and it's everlasting, it cannot be broken, and even though that this has not manifested or that has not manifested, I believe and I trust in God, hallelujah, because he's not an Indian giver, and he's going to do just that, that he says, hallelujah, glory to God, give God some praise on this morning, God covenant. Oh, my God, my God. I feel it. I feel it. I don't know if y'all feel it, but I feel it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When God does something, he does it quick. Hallelujah. He doesn't have to do it, uh, wait a, a whole lot of time. God will turn it over in a quickness. Glory to God. We just have to believe. We have to trust and believe, glory to God, that we are in the covenant of God. Don't forget about that. Uh, I know we're in this human body, and I know that trials and tribulations can shake us to the natural core at times, glory to God. But I used to say to people, give me a moment and I, I'll be able to just give me a few minutes. No, there is no more, give me a few minutes. Immediately, when I feel it, glory to God, I got to start calling on Jesus. Why? Because I'm in a covenant with him. And if I'm in a covenant with him, then he has to do just what the covenant says. Just like the contract I have with my clients, I have to do what the covenant, what the contract says. If I don't, then that contract is broken. But God said, I will never ever do it. It's everlasting. So I'm going to be with you. I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to deliver you. I'm going to set you free. Glory to God. That's the God covenant that we stand on today. That's the God covenant that we live by today. Glory to God. So we, we know and we trust and we believe in God and in the word and what he said he was going to do and how he is going to perform. So yes, get those old prophecies and where you got them stuck up and tucked up in your Bible and, 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 and put up on the shelf somewhere and, 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 and you didn't forgot about most of them. Go back and get those prophecies. Go back and look over them and hold God to them. Glory to God. Because you're in covenant with him. So you hold them to them until they manifest. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, I'm going to take care of my people. Glory to God. God told me there's some that even when the doctor has said, look, this is all that I can do. Glory to God. Don't let your faith shake. Don't let your faith waver because you are in a God covenant. If you want to, you can even look at the doctor and you can tell him, I hear what you're saying, but I'm in a covenant with God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Even on on your job, those that are the, that's bosses, glory to God, that's been riding you. 
and giving you problems, glory to God. Problems even in the midst of all this pandemic. Problems that you already going through with that, but they ride you even the more, glory to God. You say to yourself, God, I'm in a covenant. I'm in a covenant, glory to God. And let, let God deal with that, glory to God. God said there's going to be some smoothing out in somebody's employment. There's been where you have left your job. Hey, you have left your job and got in your car and you have shed some tears over your boss. God said every time you step in that door, you remember and remind yourself that you are in a covenant with God and watch what things change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Those in our marriages, hallelujah. Your marriage is rocky right now. Hey, hallelujah. Whether it's a, the male or the female, it's rocking right now. You're not in sync together. Hey, God told me to remind you this morning that you are in a covenant with God. When you said your vows, you said them in covenant with each other, but you also said them in covenant with God. And God is in covenant with you. And a lot of the problems that you're dealing with. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, go to my seat. I know I got a little more to mess with, but God messing with me right now. A lot of the problems that you're dealing with right now is due to finances. Hey, go to my seat in the Ashanta. God said to tell you this morning, if you come together and remember the covenant that he had put in between you and him, glory to God, everything is going to level off. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're talking about a God covenant this morning. We need to remember the power that lies within us and the power between us and God and the covenant that he made with us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, my God, my God, a God covenant. Say God covenant. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Over in First Chronicles. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Over in 1 Chronicles 17, 23 and 27. And I want you to really write this one down. I want you to read this, glory to God. And I want you to read it just like I'm about to tell you, glory to God. It says, and now, O Lord, the word which you have spoken concerning your servant, and I'm going to say Tanya, hey, I'm inserting Tanya in there. You insert your name in there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word that you have spoken concerning your servant, Tanya. Hallelujah. And concerning my house. It says his house, but you tell God concerning my house. Glory to God. Let it be established. Woo! Forever. Hallelujah. And do. Mm, as you have said, don't tell me we got to just lay down and take it. Woo, glory to God. We don't have to take what the devil do. We don't have to take what the doctor say. The doctor told me, I don't even remember how many years ago it was now that I was a diabetic. I went in the, house, in the hospital, not in the doctor's office first, not even knowing I was a diabetic. Sugar had went up to not, uh, 600 and something, almost 600. I think it was 599, almost 600. They asked me, how did you get here? I, dro I drove. All the symptoms, only symptom I had was uh, uh, the, my vision was blurry. Told me I had to go all the way to emergency. Got an emergency. The man came in and he said, you're going to have to be on insulin and you're going to have to shoot yourself up. And let me tell you, when we went co covenant with God, when you really believe and trust God, and I listened to this doctor, and I listened and I sat there. And when he finished, I did not disrespect him. I let him finish. And when he finished, I told him I will not be taking insulin. You give me the lowest dose pill that you can. And I'm going to turn this, uh, this I'm, we, when next time you see me, these numbers won't be like this. And he said, well, you know, you could die. Ha! I looked him dead in his eye. And I said, I believe God's report. I said, you say that I'm a diabetic. You say I have diabetes, but God don't say that. I'm not saying that. And I have not said that from then till now, and that's been a few years. 
Let me tell you how God do. Because I stood on the covenant of God, and because I knew God to be a healer, and I knew God could do all things, I knew he could intervene, glory to God. I began, now I'm not crazy now, I, I began to change the diet, and I began to exercise and do what I'm supposed to do. But when I went back, glory to God, hallelujah, my little Asian doctor, hallelujah, that's the head, glory to God, of, of that area and set a goal. The numbers was way down. My AC1 number was down to 5.3 something. And that man looked at me and crossed his little legs. And he said, how did you do this? He said, how did you do this? this I've never seen this happen. Ha! I told him I didn't do it. God did. God did it. I said, you guys said I'm a diabetic. I never said it. And God never said it. You said it. He said, no sickness would I behold on you. You said it. But we have to stand and we have to trust and we have to believe God. I knew I was in a covenant with God. And so I stood on what he said. I stood on his word. Glory to God. Let me tell you, saints of God, you don't have to take any of that negativity to you. You do not have to accept what's going on. We are in covenant with the Lord. Hallelujah. And he said, today I am raining down my blessings on my people. Hallelujah, glory to God. I'm not an Indian giver. I didn't tell you that I would always be with you and then don't be there. Glory. Woo, hallelujah. God said, I'm about to show up and I'm about to show out. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Let me get back. Let me get back. I'm all done. I'm all done. I'm all done. Hallelujah. So we're telling him, okay, as you, you've spoken concerning your servant, Tanya, you put your name concerning uh, his house, you put my house, let it be established forever and do as you say, 28, and this is what I love, and I'm about to close, it says, and now, Lord, mm, you are God, and have promised this goodness to your servant. Woo! Did, did, did you catch that? Did you catch that? That's your covenant. Oh, my God, my God, I'm about to tear this office up. That is your covenant. He said, and promise the goodness to your servant. Now you have been pleased to bless Woo! the house of your servant. That it may continue before you forever. Say forever. Put down in the comments, God covenant forever. Woo! Hallelujah. Oh, my God, my God, my God. He said, for you have blessed it, O oh Lord, and it shall be blessed forever. Are y'all catching this today? Are you catching this today? Hallelujah. Yes, we acknowledge that these have been strenuous times. And yes, we acknowledge that things change from day to day. Glory to God. But God don't change. And his covenant with us has not changed. Glory to God. We got to stand and we got to believe and we got to have faith and we got to know. We got to know in whom we serve. We have to know of the covenant. You, it's just like the, uh, the, the dukes and duchess and princes in other countries. They know their lineage. So when they tell you, oh, I'm princess this and prince that and duke this, they know their lineage and they stand and, and are confident and, and, and in their lineage when they're being introduced. We have to do that too, glory to God. Our lineage is with God. We are heir and joint heir of Jesus Christ, glory to God. So we have to know that there's a covenant that we were entered into even before we were born, glory to God. Before we were born, we were entered into that covenant. So I say to you on today, glory to God, the covenant of God lasts forever. And the blessings are at hand. I'd say to you today, get ready. Glory to God. I, I'm not T.D. Jakes, and I, and I know he said that, but if I could tell you, get ready, get ready, get ready. Hey, get ready for the blessings of God. Get ready for the covenant. Get ready for those words that were spoken over your life. Get ready for the ones that you wrote down that, that, that have not manifested yet. Get ready for you are about to receive the manifold blessing. Get ready, get ready, get ready, because you're in covenant with God. Hallelujah. Give him some praise on this morning. Give God some praise. Hey, hey, go, no, 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 Hey, oh, yeah, no, 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 
Bashata. Yeah, Ikoro Basi Koro Bashata. Hallelujah. Oh, God, you're good. Hallelujah, you're good. Hallelujah, God's about to do it, saints. Because why? You've been standing. You've been standing. Hallelujah. You've been standing and you've been trusting. Yeah, you may have shed it a tear, but you've been standing. And you've been believing. Hallelujah. So this is just a reminder of the covenant that God made with you many, many, many generations ago. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has not forgotten about you. God has not forgotten about you. He has not forgotten about your healing that you need. He has not forgotten about your deliverance. He has not forgotten about your place of employment. He has not forgotten about your transportation. He has not forgotten about your everyday bills and needs and lack. There is no lack in God. God has not forgotten the covenant that he has entered in with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask you to close your eyes as we pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Right where you are right now. Hallelujah. Even loved ones that have been going through and you've been trying to hold them up too. I want you to bring them to the forefront of your mind because we're going to cover even them on today. Hallelujah, glory to God. Father God, we thank you. We thank you today, God. We thank you for the covenant that you established with us many generations ago. Father God, we thank you for we trust and we believe that you are not a Indian giver and that your covenant lasts with us forever. Father God, we know that in the midst of everything that you are with us because you said that you would never leave us and you would never forsake us. Father God, when we are weak and we are weary, you said that your joy would give us strength. And Father God, you said that you would supply us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Father God, we thank you today. We thank you for being in covenant with us. Father God, and we thank you for the blessings that are at hand. Father God, we thank you because of the manifestation that is to come and the tangible miracles that will happen that we will hear about. Glory to God and know that only you have performed it. Father God, we give you the honor, the praise, and we give you the glory. And we thank you for who you are today. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Those of you who have not known Jesus and want Jesus to become a part of your lives, I ask you to close your eyes at this moment. You have decided that you need him. You need him to be a part. We wanted to pray this prayer. Father God, we commit to you our life. Father God, forgive us for the sins that we have performed. Father God, we believe that you have died. We believe that you were buried and we believe that you were resurrected. And Father God, we take you as our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus name we pray, amen. If that was you, we ask you to go to our website www.mhcwc.org. There's a form on there that you can hit the radio button says that you received Jesus Christ, put your information because we would like to follow up with you and we would like to pray for you. Glory to God. At this time, glory to God, it's time for our offering. I hope that the word was good for you on this morning. I hope that you are able to take that with you. Glory to God, get your devices ready. Hallelujah, hold them up, glory to God. I have my, my phone here, glory to God, hold it up. If you're going to cash app it, the cash app handle is dollar sign MHCWC. That is dollar sign MHCWC, or you can go to www dot mhcwc dot org. That is www dot mhcwc.org and you can pay through PayPal on our website. So Father God, those this morning that are paying their tithing and their offering, 
or their offering and a seed or their offering and a seed. Father God, we ask you to bless it on this morning. We ask you to give it back to them a hundredfold. Father God, you said that you would open up the window of heaven and pour them out blessings that they would not have room to receive. So Father God, we trust you, we believe you, and we stand on your words on this morning as you cover them in their giving and you supply them with even more. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you all. At this time, I believe we're gonna turn it over into the hands of Pastor Michelle. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah. I believe, or is it Elder Sam? I'm not sure. Oh, Elder hallelujah. Sam for the announcements. God bless you, Elder. Amen, God bless you, amen. We praise God for that powerful word on this morning. Amen. We serve a faithful God. Amen. I don't know about you, but my heart was lifted, encouraged by the word of God, knowing that he's faithful and that he has a covenant that is everlasting with us. Amen. So we praise God. We thank you for worshiping with us on today. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us on the line on today. And if you uh, would like to get in contact with our ministry, you can certainly go to our website, mhcwc.org, and you can click on the uh, contact card where it says to engage and give your information and someone will respond and get back to you. Amen. Or if you gave your heart to Christ, we would like to get in touch with you. Amen. And get you connected with a strong foundation of ministry where you can grow your faith. Amen. We also have a, a prayer call each Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. and Tuesday uh, through Thursdays at 12 noon. You can call the number on your screen, 1-877-489-6501. Gives the passcode. You can also text or call your prayer request to our church prayer line at 209-831-0030. Okay? Amen. You can get uh, your prayers of the righteous avail much. You can get your prayers and your needs taken care of. Amen. There's always someone standing by to answer and to uh, pray with you. We have something special coming up with Apostle Chess, something called the Tea Talk with Apostle Chess uh, for the women of Mountains Hope. So be watchful for your email and text messages for more information about this member-only event, November 14th. Uh, 2020, 5 p.m. is when it's scheduled. Amen. We also want to encourage you to declare the word to say what God says. We have uh, daily declarations that have been uh, put together for you to to speak the word and to declare the word over your lives in this times you know we we have to be mindful of our spiritual gates amen and we must only hear what thus saith the lord to the church in this hour so the word says in ephesians 5 and 19 speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the lord ephesians 5 and 19 Amen. We also want to encourage you to go to our YouTube site. Amen. You can go to YouTube. We are now present on YouTube, Mountains Oak Community Worship Center. Search for that and then hit the subscribe button. Amen. And you can get more content. You can get today's message. You can get uh, kingdom advancement messages and any and several other uh, types of content that we're working on just for you. Amen. Just in case you missed today's broadcast, you can go back there and watch it again. Amen. All right. And for those that haven't already given, Ecclesiastes 11 and 6 says, in the morning sow your seed, and in the evening do not hold back your hand, for you do not know which will prosper, either this or that, or whether both be alike will be good. Amen. You can pay with cash app, dollar sign MHCWC, or via PayPal. You can go directly to our website and pay via PayPal. Amen. It is our prayer that you were encouraged and lifted on today. And we just pray that you have a blessed week. And before you go, 
And before you leave the line, as uh, Pastor Michelle encourages us, why don't you say say hello to someone, give them a virtual hug, or give them a virtual, uh, I love you, I miss you, brother, sister, uh, just say hello and God bless you and encourage someone on this morning. Amen. God bless you. Praise God. We missed one announcement, and that is to remind everyone about Kingdom Advancement this Wednesday at 6 p.m. right here on Facebook Live. Um, and you can also watch from our website, mhcwc.org backslash watch. Amen. And that's this Wednesday at 6 p.m. We will be here. Elder Sam, thank you so much uh, for the announcements. Can you go ahead and bless us and send us home? Amen. We'll do. God, we thank you today for your covenant with your people, oh God, that you are, Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You are a faithful God, and we thank you, Lord, that all of your promises are yea and amen. And so as we leave this place, but never your presence, oh God, we thank you, oh God, that you will continue to be with us, that you will continue to speak with us, and we will continue to dwell in the midst of thy presence all week long. Amen. And God, we glorify you. We lift you. We give you praises. And we ask that you bless your people and that your faith will shine upon them in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday and a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week. God bless you.